Hey everybody, how we doing? So we have these Tomb Raider starter decks. Um, the Pacific Pearl quest deck, the Neptune Fury quest deck, the Trapped in the Tomb quest deck, and then we have Into the Cave quest deck. Now I've never played um, Tomb Raider uh, CCG. I'm not really a big Tomb Raider fan. I kind of enjoy the movies when they when those came out. Uh, I kind of had the ups and my downs about it. Um, but I'm interested to know what, what, what are in these cards. Um, I am a Magic the Gathering player. I also play Star Trek CCG. I'm in the process of learning that game. And so I thought it would be a lot of fun to put a lot of CCG things out there for people to see. Um, we are going to start today... <clears throat> um, Oh, let's see here, what you want to do? Um, probably not these two because these are really nice boxes. I like to keep my boxes nice. Uh, this one's already partial open, so we will start with Quest uh, Into the Cave Quest deck. So again, I've never played this, so I really don't know what to expect. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just open this seal. Again, the box is already kind of crushed a little bit. Um, I got these from a really good price online, really cheap. <coughs> um, I don't know how long it's been around or anything about that. Um, but it looks like in, in here, it comes with several things. Uh, the first thing we got, again, is a uh, official rules. So again, we have something to give us the rules. Um, it looks like this is some kind of uh, tokens. Uh, a skull, arrows, E1 through three through five. A green dot, an X, and some kind of diamond crystal thing. So, uh, the rules will probably tell me more about this. Um, oh, what's this? Uh, I don't know what this is. So, depth 1 through 6, and 7 through 12. So, I, I'm guessing there's some kind of depth aspect to this game. Uh, with the cards, uh, maybe you have to go a certain distance. Um, and w w uh, get over f uh, certain challenges. So we'll just take a peek at this guide real quickly. We won't really, we won't get into it. Um, let's see here. So again, we have learn to play six here. Standard rules, playing the game. Let's see your other rules, levels. That probably is this depth thing. Um, series. So there's the time series. Linked series and pickup series. So this is probably what came before this. Um, introduction. So again, they have rules on all the cards, it looks like. Um, and that'll be good and very helpful when I actually want to learn how to play the game. Um, <clears throat> so we got a booster pack, an eight-card booster pack with this. And then we also have in here a starter pack. Um... So again, hopefully you can see that clear. You got Lara Croft there, um, and she has a couple stats: uh, uh, a red stat, a blue stat, a green, and a yellow stat. So again, I have no idea what that means, um, but we're going to figure this out. Oh, that's interesting. So you actually have a red Lara Croft figure in here. Um, so again, I'm only guessing that on this whole depth things, depth things, I thought at first maybe, I mean, there's size of cards almost, that maybe you stack cards up here and you have to get up there. Um, maybe you do, and you actually just move your character up each, each thing as you level up. I don't know. Again, I haven't played it. Uh, I'm guessing it wasn't really popular. Um, you can also come with two dice, and I don't actually need more die. Uh, I have at least a pound and a half, I think, a die that I've had the last decade. Um, you know, over the last decade. So, but that, that'll be interesting. I'll just go ahead and stack this in here and this in here. And we'll put this over here. And let's go ahead and not start with a booster, but just open up the uh, uh, pre-constructed deck. Again, this is 50 cards. And we're going to take this off. This was a lot easier to open up than those uh, playing cards. If you watch those video, I did uh, a couple videos on um, just normal playing cards, uh, and I was using the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 
um, Angel Slayer, and then I compared the two Angel series, it was Series 1 and Series 2. Uh, real quickly before we begin this, uh, let's just take a time, go ahead, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. If you like what I do, I love a lot of CCG, CCG video games, collectible cards. Um, go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and like, share with your friends, and please jump over to Facebook as well, and like and subscribe and share with your friends there as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the card pack now that that's done. And again, we have Laura Clough, Spelunkler. Um, so we have Steel Item, so it's like an action card. Um, Laura Clough Adventure. Um, Magnum Pistols. So I would say it's an item card. Um, let's see here. And again, I don't know how to organize these cards, but I'm going to do something with like the color a little bit. So this is a small med pack. Um, a some kind of trap. Um, I kind of want to put traps in a different area. A hidden exit. Now I want to keep them with colors. I think it's a run card. The way through. Another hidden exit. Another trap card. This is a pit trap. Um, just, gosh, this makes me want to play some video games. Um, uh, just made it. Take aim. Rough ground. Bats. Wolves. Um, so these seems to be some kind of like different things for Laura Croft to overcome. Uh, let's see here. Uh, these look... Some same thing. So we have a save point. That seems interesting. I know those are in games, so um, I have many games that I've used save points, and sometimes I hate it when I don't use them and don't do that quick save. Um, we have a push. So some kind of almost like a combat ability, and I, I'm seeing a little discrepancy in some of these cards, where like this push and these combat abilities are different than pats. Uh, sorry, than bats. Wolves, rough ground. So I'm going to kind of, I think, move these over here. I mean, it's really hard to see the uh, the difference in these colors of cards. Uh, they're both kind of like a grayish. Uh, one's just a tad bit lighter. Um, then we have a dart trap. Dart. Bounty. A bear. And here's interesting. Uh, a leather jacket, so I almost feel like there's a little bit different color there too. So this is an item discovery, um, creature, an action card. Oh, there you go. So it's not really color. These are action cards right here. So that's good to know. Then we have item discovery cards. We have a trigger discovery. discovery. So I'm going to put the items right there. Trigger discoveries. So item discovery. Oh, sorry. Trigger discovery. They change to item discovery over here. And then let's look at this real quickly so we can organize this. We have creature oops, obstacle. Another creature obstacle. A trap obstacle. So creature obstacle, creature obstacle. Trap obstacle. Alright. Action. So that's a oh, uh, furious attack. We have look again in action. Good shot. I want to keep this down there. The way through, another action. A trigger discovery, trigger door. Another item discovery. Oh, put that in the wrong spot. Uh, rope. Okay, now that kind of reminds me of what's that game? Uh, Clue? <clears throat> in the kitchen by Mr. Mustard or something with a rope. Alright, so this is a cave location. Another, so this is a what, cave entry. A safe cave, which is a cave location. A treasure cave. And then a skeleton remains, which is also a cave location. Dim cavern cave location. So there's several cave locations here. 
Um, Giant Cavern. Uh, the pictures are very... I think they're probably taken from the older games, and I never played any of the older games. Uh, oh, I do think I own one of them for the PlayStation, though. Um, but yeah, I was never a, a Tomb, Raider, Tomb Raider fan. But I am a CCG fan, and it does make you want to try out the game again. So I may have to end up looking into that. Um, again, let me guys know if you guys are interested, and I'll do more of these things for you as well. So we have another cave location, open cavern. Um, cave location, overlook, fort, um, bat cave. Oh, I wonder if I can find Batman in there. Wolf bridge. I doubt wolves can build bridges. And then, um, sharp, sharp T. Interesting. Uh, this, so it's a, it, uh, it's a cave location seal, but it's a pit trap, seven move, or eight search. So again, you, with this, you roll die. So I would roll a six. I don't know what that means. That's again, for those of you who want to learn the game, let me know. We can try, we can learn this together. Uh, so please leave messages. Uh, and I will get back to you. Um, so this one is another cave location. End of slide. Um, bend left cave location. Hidden corner cave location. A bat roost cave location. A pond cave location. And then a hard right cave location. Alright, so... Power one treasure. So let's uh, read that. So again, there's a treasure. Um, a Tomb Raider with a claw of cave. Bear cause. Oh, sorry. Claw. Oh, okay. All right. So a Tomb Raider with a claw of cave bear claws causes one plus one hit when succeeding in a fight test against any creature obstacle. So again, there's a battle you can do. This is a some kind of tre treasure that gives you that causes a plus one hit. I do not know if that's damage or to hit. Um, but all right, so that seems to be our cards here. Um, so I want to just go over what I'm seeing right now. I have an item discovery. I have a trigger discovery. I have a whole bunch of cave locations along with action cards. And then I have two sets of obstacles. One is creature obstacles and the other is trap obstacles. Along with a treasure card. And over here I have two Lara Craft cards. One is Spelunkler. I'm pronouncing it Sp Splunker. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm slightly mispronouncing that. But then a Lara Croft Adventure. Let's see here. This Blunker gives her some kind of power stats. It's a, a power one character. And this seems to be like an upgrade to this card, which is a power two character upgrade. Um, and this reads, uh, play when you save your character, upgrade any adventure. Adds plus one to each ability that start did the game at least at let uh, sorry with each ability that started the game at at least then three ah. upgrade any adventurer add plus one to each ability that started the game at less than three okay at less than three sometimes I find these card text to be a little bit Mouth twisters. Um, word twisters. There you go. So, alright, now we have this uh, booster. Uh, and I do kind of wish I would have bought more boosters for these. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't. Alright, so what I want to do is just cut this open. If any of you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that I like to cut, 
I like to slice open my boosters because it saves the cards. Um, again, I'd like to remind you, remind you guys, if you guys like learning about new CCG card games or collectible cards or just video games, going like a big old blast in the past like this, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to add a lot of cool stuff, and I'm also working on shortening the length of these videos. All right, so let's look at these... Uh, see here these cards again i got another item discovery this is a stone tablet item discovery um, this is an action detailed search um atlantis sorry, atlantis location so that's an interesting location uh so this is not a cave location like all these other locations are um item discovery Trap obstacle. Where to put my trap? Trap obstacles over there. This is an action. Good shot. Another action. Take aim. I think I, I have this one. And then uh, another action. All right. So uh, that's kind of what we got here for the. What is this series called? Again, is it here? Tomb Raider Collector. This is the... Alright, so this is the Into the Cave Quest deck. So, we've added a booster to a starter deck. I have no idea what rares are. Um, there wasn't like a card catalog uh, of a checklist. I'll double check in here real quickly. Cave entrance, cave location. So there is a checklist, it looks like, in here. Uh, but we're not going to go through that right now. Uh, again, I have, I'm going to go ahead and stack these up, and we're going to end this real quickly. So let's keep our trap and creatures together. We're going to create uh, our discoveries together. We're going to put our lo locations at the bottom. We're going to put our treasure, uh, we'll put our actions right above obstacles, we'll put our treasure right next to our character cards, um, we'll put this like this. So uh, I'm going to keep this in the box probably, uh, but I have with me, again I have traps trapped in the tomb quest deck, I also have the Pacific Pearl quest deck. And I also have the Neptune Fury Quest. So um, I'm going to open up these some other time. Uh, let me guys know what you think of the video below. Uh, please subscribe and I will catch you guys all later.